Our story began with a knock at the door. I thought it was a simple missing persons case. This was anything but. Do you know who stole your home? Yet. That's why I came to you. I'm only a tiger from Siberia. You are a detective. This is what we know. Every two seconds, somewhere in the world, an area of forest the size of a football field is clear-cut by illegal loggers. Mostly criminal syndicates, timber mafias, and wood pirates, you know. The United Nations and Interpol estimate that illegal logging accounts for as much as 30% of all logging. Much more in some countries. This kind of forest destruction is very bad news for our global climate. And generates as much as $100 billion U.S. annually in criminal proceeds. Largely controlled by those wood pirates, this money is untaxed and used to pay corrupt government officials. The vast majority of illegal logging takes place in the tropical forests of the Amazon Basin, Central Africa, and Southeast Asia, anywhere governance is weak. Like the Russian Far East. Right, Tiger? I just want to find my home. It's gonna take a lot of looking to find the missing forest. We need a lucky break. I need a detective. Your missing job just might be the clue to your missing home. Trees are illegally cut down in other countries and taken away, stolen from forests that communities depend on for food, incomes, medicines, even water. Logs are sent to unsafe mills where workers have few options but to risk their lives to turn those logs into other wood products. Paper, plywood, hardwood flooring, and furniture, just to name a few. The cheap illegal wood gets shipped to the U.S. and other consumer countries for sale. This undercuts U.S. producers to the tune of $1 billion per year, draining the bottom lines of companies who are doing the right thing, which costs Americans their jobs, and costs Siberian tigers their homes. There ought to be a law against that. There is. The Lacey Act, named for Congressman Lacey, signed by President McKinley and intended to protect wildlife. The Lacey Act was amended in 2008 to prohibit the import of illegally harvested or traded plant products into the United States. Aha! Uh -huh. The 2008 Lacey Act amendments have already had a tremendous impact, but they need to be fully implemented and enforced. Otherwise, your job ends up in the Russian Far East, and your home ends up as a wood product in America. Aha! Uh -huh. But what can individuals do? Well, international consumer demand for wood products like flooring, furniture, and plywood is a key driver of illegal logging and associated trade. And that's why the government must enforce and companies must comply with the Lacey Act. We can save jobs, trees, and the livelihoods of forest people. And wildlife. If we fully enforce the Lacey Act. And stop the illegal timber trade once and for all.